Hi, I'm Patrick with Preppers Bunker Outdoors, here to talk about Terrain 365. This Blade Show 2019 coverage is brought to you by the following sponsors. Yellowhawk Custom Kydex. If you watch my channel, you know that I've been using them for about half a decade. They make bomb-proof custom Kydex one at a time. Mineral Mountain Hatchet Works. Mineral Mountain Hatchet Works is hand-making knives in Arkansas at such a good price with such good quality that I chose them to be the manufacturer for my brand of blades, Exodus Knife and Tool. Grizzly Outdoors Custom Kydex. They are the easiest to work with, best price, highest quality custom Kydex manufacturer for a large scale that's out there. They do awesome work. Whatever your Kydex needs, you can go to Grizzly Outdoors. K-Lash Blades, they make their knives hand forged in Nepal the old fashioned way. And when you buy a K-Lash blade, you get quality fit, finish, and quality control. You won't get that with a lot of other kukri manufacturers. Hogue knives, 100% made in America. It is what I carry in my pocket almost every day. I absolutely love them. Pocket strop, it is a strop that you put in your pocket at an affordable price, made in America. They work, they are fantastic. Combat abrasives got me into this show and time and time again, custom makers, with incredible products told me how much they appreciate combat abrasives. They make a wonderful product, and if you are a maker, you should check them out. And finally, Phobos Knives makes mil-spec quality knives with a mil-spec purpose. Design, their designs are made for a purpose. They are awesome, they look awesome, they use the highest quality materials, and they are made in the United States. All of these sponsors, I have reached out to and they have decided to support this channel because they believe in what I do. So please check them out in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're here today, um, guests of Preppers Bunkers Outdoor to talk about our knives. Uh, what's unique first and foremost is all of our blades are 100% rust proof. It's, it's, it's an outcome and a consequence of the materials that are used in the alloy that we've used to make it in all of our knives. And in the most academic terms, it is simply a composition of cobalt and carbide. And since there is no ferrous material or iron in any of the blade alloy, it simply cannot rust. Therefore, it's rust proof. You can put this in salt water, fresh water, snow, walk, you know, hike for a week in this in the rain, like in the Pacific Northwest, in the Olympic rainforest, have it sopping wet, it will never rust and never stain. The other advantage of this alloy is that the cutting edge is actually facilitated by the carbide. It's the carbide in a dendritic pattern, which creates a microscopic, and essentially a saw, a little tiny saw that is sharper and will hold the edge longer than any known stainless steel alloy. To be fully transparent, the reason why you don't see this stuff out there that much is it's pricey. This stuff is typically found in the medical industry, uh, used in high-end or high-speed CNC cutters. And for some of us that are familiar with firearms, they've lined the machine gun barrels of the M240 with the same type of material in this family of dendritic cobalt. Um, again, the advantages, it will never rust. It holds a cutting edge in the field longer than probably any known stainless alloy. It's a great knife for the field. It's ideal for any conditions, rain or shine, on land or underwater. We have a couple of different models right now that's available. Uh, we have this fixed blade here, which is ideal for maritime environments, kayaking, fishing on the sea, taking out to a day in a lake, canoeing. Uh, you can also just use it for regular outdoor use. Uh, something like this is one piece cast. We cast these, then we sharpen them. It has the original shape that is actually in the mold as it's cast. We have a unique epoxy uh, powder coated uh, uh, handle cover on this. Um, very durable, never chips off. It's, it's pretty easy to replace. Comes in different colors, orange for high stability and something like this, which is black. We also have a new line of folders that just came out. This is the Invictus folder. This is 100% non-ferrous, 100% non-magnetic. 100% rust proof. The blade is our Teravantium, which is our trade name for the cobalt uh, carbide. 
the handle is titanium, all the hardware is titanium, the pivot's titanium, and the bearings are ceramic, as well as the ball detent. So again, there's not a single piece or gram of any ferrous or iron material in this knife. So it's 100% rust proof. Salt water use all day long, on, or, on land or under the sea, this is going to be a knife that you can take pretty much in any backcountry environment and never worry half about maintain the, the blade in terms of uh, uh, rusting, standing, or pitting. And again, also holds the same long-lasting edge. So keep on cutting. Um, we have some other prototypes here, samples of some other knives that we're coming out with. We have this uh, plastic slip joint uh, done in the very uh, traditional Barlow pattern with a couple modern updates, slightly bigger or longer blade, um, spear point. Again, terabanthium blade, 100% rust proof, titanium handle. But in this case, for this knife, because it uses a back spring, that has to be a high, uh, high quality stainless steel to have the memory spring action. But by and large, other than that, it's about 80% non-ferrous, non-magnetic. But for day-in, day-out use, you're cutting an orange, cheese, uh, something you want to take on a picnic or backpacking, the blade is never going to rust, never stain, and hold that edge. A couple different variations. We're going to have them with G10 or Mercata scales. Uh, stainless or tie, uh, tie liners. Again, a little lighter weight, a little warmer uh, feel because you got a, a, a non-metal handle on that. Uh, this is just something we did for fun. It's a little mini ballet song that we're doing, a little butterfly knife. Again, terabanthium blade, titanium handle, titanium hardware. And this is just for the, uh, the knife enthusiast. Something who likes a little bit, uh, you know, a of that ballet fun. Um, and uh, we have these little fixed blades right here, which has been a very popular model for us. It's uh, very packable. It's a neck knife size. It's great for backpackers. It's been very popular with uh, sea kayakers, river runners. Um, something you want uh, that's not really big and obtrusive. Uh, that'll do probably most of your cutting chores and most backpacking camping trips. That pretty much covers it for what we have going on right now. Uh, we probably got two or three more folder models in the works. Uh, definitely some more uh, uh, big blades coming up. Uh, my partner is Michael Venino, who is a master bladesmith. We're based in California, and uh, he's got some one-offs coming up. They have the same kind of bar stock. Uh, the bar stock itself, which we call again Terabantium, will be available for uh, any knife maker, custom knife maker that would like to use the material. Uh, it's, it's actually surprisingly easy to manipulate and, and work in the shop, and you don't have to heat treat it. Once you grind it and put an edge on it, it's good to go. So another advantage of using this material. There we have it. Preppers, bunker, outdoor. All right. Just want to make sure I get that right. Got to nail yep. that. Yep.